JK Rowling, what are you doing? and welcome to today's video. Today we are talking about this play right behind me. This could be a long video. So welcome to today's video. Today we are talking about Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, which is a special edition rehearsal script, not book. Uh, keep that in mind when you go to purchase this. A lot of people did not realize that this was not a book. It is in fact a rehearsal script. I did theater for a long time, I've read a lot of scripts, a lot of different things like that, so for me this was a pretty easy script to read. Uh, for other people it may be a little odd to kind of get into to realize how to read a script because that is a little different than your everyday books. For example, you have to take into account that you have to use your imagination for a lot of it because you do not know how the character is actually going to respond. It just depends on what the actor who is playing the character and what the directors actually want them to do. So depending on how it actually plays out on stage, it may be completely different than how you are interpreting it when you read it. That being said, let's just jump into the actual storyline here that is supposedly now canon? No. So the fact that this is a special rehearsal edition script means that when you go to see the actual play in London, if you go to see it, um, it's not going to be word for word because this was a rehearsal copy. So when they went into meetings and went into actual rehearsals and finally got to the point where they put this play on stage, they more than likely changed a lot of things. If jokes fell flat or if they didn't like certain stage movements, they may have switched a lot of things around. They could have cut scenes. They could have added something. Uh, we don't really fully know unless you have gone to see the play and brought your copy with you and flipped through word for word. Um, I would be curious to know if any of you have seen the play, how different is it from this script here? Let me know if you have. Leave a comment below. So, jumping right into this video. So I picked up this book slash script from a Books A Million while we were at away in Orlando, Florida, and I was very excited, very excited to be entering the world of Hogwarts once again when we had been told that that wasn't going to happen. So it's kind of exciting to be able to be like, oh my gosh, we get to get in this Harry Potter spirit all over again and get all giddy and visit our favorite characters. Here are my thoughts. Are you guys ready? Okay, so seeing Albus head off to his first year at Hogwarts was very exciting. Um, I really enjoyed the first few scenes. That was really fun to read. Um, got you right back into the Hogwarts mood, which was awesome. However, I did feel that it was very, very quick, and I know it's a play, so everything has to change very quickly, but I would like to have seen JK Rowling explore Albus a little more. I would like to see a book based on what happened his first year at Hogwarts, what happened his second year at Hogwarts, that sort of thing, rather than just kind of skipping through. And again, for play's sake, I know why they did it, but I feel like we didn't really get to develop a character relationship with Albus to see if we liked him or not. Um, because I think it was so quick and he was kind of just such an ungrateful character, I really didn't like him very much. Um, and you get where he's coming from a little bit, but your dad's Harry Potter, dude. Like, suck it up. Your dad is awesome, and you're kind of just being a jerk. So I really just was not a huge fan of him. Just gonna put that out there. The fact that we go through kind of the time travel and almost like a repeat of Harry's story, because we're just kind of doing a bunch of flashbacks rather than an original story, in my opinion, it was kind of a letdown. I feel like this script is pretty weak in comparison to the actual collection of Harry Potter stories. And again, I would love to go see the play and see how it actually 
plays out. <laughs> but um, I, I still feel like just reading through it, it's weak. It's it's not as exciting as an inviting world that Harry Potter was. I would rather see one of the Harry Potter books be put up on stage than this. Well, I've got a bunch of notes written down in here and I'm just gonna kind of read them at random so if this is not in any particular order, I apologize. Um, Harry's scar. Okay, so Harry's scar starts hurting and you're just like, hold on, why is your scar hurting again? And Ginny's like, well, your scar's hurting again? Oh no, and we get this big story about, oh, well, maybe Voldemort's back or something is happening, and it's just like, now, dude, Harry, you were a horcrux, so when you died, you technically got rid of the horcrux, therefore you wouldn't be speaking parcel tongue, and you wouldn't be connected to Voldemort anymore, therefore your scar would not hurt. I would have liked to have known more about Malfoy's wife, that would have been really interesting, we didn't really get to know her. Um, and you kind of see what Malfoy is going through because it's really depressing that it's just him and his son now, but you didn't really get to know her, and I think that would have been interesting to know a little bit more about her, and yeah, would have been nice. Ron Weasley. Um, he's weird. Um, they just, they didn't really do much for his character there. He kind of just turned into, like, the creepy uncle. Um, all he really talks about is food and weird tricks and getting drunk and being drunk for his wedding like really no that just wasn't very fitting um another thing is the relationships between harry um and malfoy he doesn't call him malfoy they call each other by their actual names um not to mention the fact that there was mcgonagall she wouldn't be calling him harry she'd probably still be calling him mr potter so I don't think they really would have outgrown that just because they're older. I think ex especially when Draco is mad, he probably would have just walked up and been like, Potter, you better find my son if anything happens to him, not Harry, you better find my son. Like, the fact that they kind of made Harry Potter a bit of a jerk. Um, hello, Voldemort is now dead. You've married a beautiful woman, you've married Ginny, and you're just like depressed and meh all the time, and you're on a no sugar diet? Dude, that's probably why you're grumpy. Get some sugar, get some sweets, and maybe you'll lighten up a little bit. I don't picture Harry being such a grump when he's older. Like, the worst is behind you, dude. Cheer up. Uh, let's talk about Albus having to make out with his aunt multiple times. Disgusting. Um, and the fact that the polyjuice was so easy and quick to get. Hmm. Pretty sure that takes a lot longer to make than it did for them. Um, but yeah. Albus having to kiss Hermione many times as Ron was a bit disturbing. Uh, I know it was probably supposed to be funny, but it just didn't appear as funny. It appeared kind of like, ew, gross, nasty. And also, this has already been done. So, why are we doing it again? Again, originality, guys. Originality. Let's skip over to uh, Delphi, or Delphi, however we want to pronounce her name. <laughs> she should not exist. Um, I'm sorry. Bellatrix and Voldemort, really? Mmm. I, I just, I don't see how that happened or why it happened because Voldemort already had a Horcrux plan in place. He didn't need a kid. He probably didn't want a kid. And let's look at the fact that he split himself into eight pieces. Do you really think he had time to worry about hanging out with Bellatrix? Gross. Ew. Black. So her entire character and purpose is just kind of like, wait, what? You, you shouldn't be here. Um, and then, when she does finally meet her daddy, Lord Voldemort, she says, Rodolphus? Is that how we pronounce it? Rodolphus is the one who told her all about the prophecy when he got out of Asgwen. Uh, wasn't he locked up forever? For an eternity? After the Battle of Hogwarts? Hmm. So, how do you get out? And also, who made this prophecy? Anybody? Anybody? Leave a comment if you know, because um, that didn't make sense to me. And again, Bellatrix, um, you were locked up and with the Malfoys, so if Draco doesn't know anything about Delphi, then how does she all of a sudden exist? That's another problem 
with me hearing that JK Rowling is saying that this is canon. This is not canon. This doesn't make sense. You have so many loopholes and so many unanswered questions and so many things that are just like, that can't happen. No, no. Now I'm gonna go into the fact that Hermione is a complete grump and angry and depressed because she didn't get to be with Ron, really. Hermione was one of the strongest characters in the Harry Potter series. I really don't think that she would be that depressed and upset that she didn't get a man. She wouldn't have become a really grumpy teacher. She would have still been the minister of magic, um, even without Ron, because she's awesome and she's a genius. Um, and the other huge problem that everybody has with this, Cedric became a Death Eater because he got embarrassed. Really? Really? We're gonna go with that? Where did, where did that even come from? Cedric. Um, Mr. Nice Guy. Yeah, he's just gonna become a Death Eater because you guys went and embarrassed him. No. 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 What are you doing? No. Um, and I don't even know what to say about this. The trolley witch. <laughs> I laughed so hard while reading this. Um, I, I don't even know what to say. The fact that she has spikes for hands and they are spiky spikes. <laughs> what? Um, I mean, I think it's kind of cool that you have the trolley witch there to keep kids on the train, but why is she this weird, like, monster, robot, creepy thing? I don't know. Um, if anybody has a photo of what she looks like on stage or has seen this, please let me know how it plays out um, on stage, because I'm, I'm sure it's hilarious. But just reading it, it's like, what in the world is happening? Um, I don't even know what world I'm in right now, uh, but... She says that she's there to keep the kids on the train. Understandable. I'm supposed to believe that the twins couldn't get off the train because this woman was so crazy, yet Albus and Scorpius get off with pretty much no problems. They're just like, check you later, trolley witch. You're not very good at your job, lady. I don't know. Then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna touch on this very, very briefly because I just I don't have any words other than laughter. Um Ron and Panju. Good one, JK Rowling. Good one. Yep, yep. <laughs> Good one. What? And then the fact that Harry is scared of pigeons. Why do we have so much random stuff in this? Like, nothing goes together. Nothing, nothing makes sense. I don't know. Maybe it's not supposed to make sense. Maybe it's just supposed to be a big laugh and you're just supposed to appreciate the fact that uh, it's <laughs> Hogwarts. I don't know. Um, ultimately, I enjoyed getting to read through this book and see some of our old familiar friends. I just don't know. I think I would have rather her not written this, to be honest. Um, it kind of feels like when you watch a Disney sequel and you're just like, why did you bother to mess with this? Um, kind of like Cinderella. If you've ever seen Cinderella 2, you're just like, what? No. Or The Little Mermaid, um, the second one with Melanie. It's just like, really? No, guys, just, just, just leave it with the first. The first is classic. The first is good. The first is original. Uh, the second is essentially just a copy of what your original was. And that's kind of what this was. It was trying to be a copy. So... I'm gonna end this here because there's a probably a lot more thoughts I could go on about but this is just a big jumbled mess and you're probably watching this going yeah I agree or no I don't agree so just leave comments below talk amongst yourselves and I'll try to comment too and we can share our thoughts there together thank you for watching my jumbled mess of thoughts on this script um, let me know what you enjoyed and what you didn't enjoy. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! This is a PS. I cannot wait to hear Christina Horner's thoughts on this. Christina, please make a video, and soon. I need to know what you thought. <laughs>